Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. We are looking at my childhood CRT television, 1980s Hitachi. I wanted to do a little different video today. Just kind of take you back to the early 90s when I was a kid and how I spent my Friday, Saturday nights either before or after watching some Are You Afraid of the Dark and Goosebumps I would jump on this little TV play some NES or Super Nintendo tonight I just wanted to play a few Super Nintendo games that I played as a kid and I really love and enjoy and I wanted to do it actually on the childhood TV playing on an original Super Nintendo with an original Super Nintendo controller so I've only got a few games here, just to kind of take you back. We're going to kick things off with Star Fox. So let's turn on the TV. The old static. This epic music, all the memories. I'm legit sitting on the floor, on the carpet, playing like I used to as a kid. I remember first time popping this in and just being like, what is this game? Epicness. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Me as a noob child, this is the path I'd always take. I'm actually gonna turn the lights out. There. Can I see the screen a little bit better? I originally wanted to kind of do this video with screen capture to, with my capture card but I thought this would be a little more authentic and a little bit different of a uh, filming style so Oops, been a while, I meant to use turbo, not my bomb. Whoa. I remember looking at this game when I first got it, and being like, wow, look at the graphics. Because, you know, most kids at this time were used to all 2D stuff, right? I live in, uh, I grew up in a city called Calgary, and those towers I just passed, they kind of look like the Calgary Tower, like these ones. We used to call it, oh, the Calgary Tower is falling. Considering um, how old this looks, it doesn't age terribly, I guess. Maybe it's my nostalgia glasses talking, but... Me and my brothers used to try to get, oh crap, get through the buildings like this and show off because I was the youngest of three boys and yeah, they would always uh, do stuff like that and I would try and suck at it like that. <laughs> Over 20 years later and I still can't do it. Try that again. No more showing off. I used to 
like busting off the wings. Oh, that was always cool. A little nub. Do a bear roll. I'll oh, steal Peppy's kill. Sorry, Peppy. These guys all seem like jerks, except for Slippy. I rem remember playing back in the day. Okay, not doing it, not doing it. Right in front of the health. Alright, well. That's Star Fox. Obviously not as good as I used to be at that. Let's pop in... Some Clay Fighter. originally rented this game. It's the first time I ever played it and I thought it was so crazy. Pretty much fell in love with bad Mr. Frosty. Thought he was so cool. I am not good at this game, so warning warning. I've actually gotten really terrible at Super Nintendo fighting games. Even Street Fighter, I used to be like really good at it, and yeah, just not as good as I used to be. Although on arcade, I'm still pretty decent, but yeah, something about the SNES controller, I just can't make it happen. Because you just lose that skill if you don't play it enough. Can't remember his moves. I'm kind of an aerial jumper attacker. Seems to work for me. So clever in this. Icky Bod Clay. Flip me. Okay. 
Oh man, teleporting. Pulling some radiant stuff here. My noisy controller. Get him in the corner and overwhelm him. Take it. Alright, I'm going to try to keep these a little short and sweet, so uh, let's stop there and call that part one. So, uh, yeah. Check out part two if you want to see more of my nostalgic playing Super Nintendo on my childhood TV. Alright, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to follow me on social media. More information in the description below. Be sure to check out my other videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. I am the Console Collector. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until the next video, happy gaming.